trading cargo back and forth in trade lands for hours on end is boring. And getting in a fight with pirates doesn't automatically spice things up. Like before, yeah, valiantly fighting off pirates in the name of defending the cargo that rightfully belongs to you, it had a triumphant feeling to it. But as it happens more and more over the years, it kind of loses its flair. Fighting off pirates, from my perspective at least, has just become another chore. Kill the pirates, put the cargo back on the ship, and go right back to moving boxes between islands for another hour or two. I should probably tell you that there's like, a lack of consistent cargo traders in the player base, so when pirates see a ship full of cargo pull out a port, it's undoubtedly hard to ignore. When I'm cargo trading and a pirate pulls up with their oak dart, my first thought isn't, oh my god, don't kill me, I'm so scared of getting my shit stolen. No, it's more of something along the lines of, oh my fucking god, I've done this a thousand times, I'm getting tired of this shit. As I got raided more and more, I came up with tactics and better ways to dispatch the pirates easily and more time effectively. So, as I promised before, I think I'm going to show you a few tricks. By the end of this video, I can guarantee you that fighting off pirates will be less of a bloody struggle and more of a chore. Now let's get to it. Now, when it comes to combat in video games, I like to think that taking down an opponent is easier when you have an advantage, which is why I use glowies. So, bring glowies when you cargo trade. Seriously, the vast majority of traders are out to steal your cargo, not sink your ship, which means you'll have to engage in PvP. So whip out your f***ing stamina draining, health draining sword and f***ing drop their asses. A good glowy sword could cost like 30 to 35k per piece, I think. For killing pirates, I'd recommend Frost Steel, Electro Steel, Magmite, and Santonite. Also, cap lock spamming is, is another good tactic you should get into. It's pretty good to stop those f***ers from running away, to shoot them in the back of the head. And yeah, cap lock and glowies both cost a decent amount of money, especially for a cargo trader. Call me crazy, but like, there's some people out there with the money and resources to stomp out their competition and legitimately just choose not to. Now before in trade lands, there were a couple somewhat unintended features regarding cargo. Before, if you place two crates inside of each other, then one of them would despawn. Both pirates and traders abuse the hell out of this just to annoy each other. I mean seriously, having an entire atlas load of cargo just disappear was a massive middle finger. And also having a pile of stolen cargo just dissipate into the water was also f***ing infuriating. There was another feature that allowed people to steal each other's cargo, no matter what faction, by spamming the F key on the black cell pad. When the person dropped the cargo to sell, that the person spamming F would instantly pick it up and claim it as theirs. This bullshit eventually got fixed. But luckily for us traders, we can still spam F to steal our own cargo back. So there you go, go wild. Just be careful because if you're standing still on the cell pad, you're pretty easy to kill. Another trick with cargo that I've learned is rather good for saving time. If a pirate throws all the cargo off your ship into the water, you don't have to jump on the ship to put the cargo back on. You can just drop it inside the hull and it'll anchor onto the ship. This makes loading cargo easier in certain situations. Whenever you see pirates, you shouldn't make it your job to fight them, at least if you're trying to save your cargo. Always try to run away first for as long as possible. The fox and the steam goose can both steam directly upwind to avoid pirates, all while hammering them with their rear-facing cannons. If you don't have an engine, just keep running. The beaver and the serpent are good at stalling out time. The beaver is incredibly fast crosswind and the serpent has its unique junk sails. When the pirates eventually get to your ship, stop the ship. They're going to try to throw the cargo off, so stopping the ship will only make the process a lot messier. Also makes PvP easier since the ship is stationary. Another good alternative is just f***ing leaving the server and joining a smaller one when you notice that there's a little too many pirates for the reward to outweigh the risk. So there you go, how to defend cargo. I hope I taught you all some things that you might not have known. I'm juggling a lot of projects in my brain right now, so I decided I might as well just finish this off and get it over with. I have more videos coming soon that I can devote my time to now since this one's finished with. Thanks for watching, see you around.